Hello, and welcome to Cave of the Mounds. Cave of the Mounds is named for its location here in the south slope of the East Blue Mounds. The Blue Mounds are actually remnants of ancient mountains, the highest point in southern Wisconsin. So, do you think you can guess how old Cave of the Mounds is? If you're thinking maybe thousands of years, you may want to try adding a few more zeros. That's right, Cave of the Mounds is over a million years old and the limestone rock where the cave is formed is over 400 million years old, which means the rock you're about to walk through was around when the dinosaurs roamed here. Pretty cool, huh? Well, over the next 10 minutes, you're going to get a sneak peek at the journey you're about to take through what's become known as Wisconsin's oldest classroom. So sit back, relax, and make sure you hold on because our first stop is a little journey back in time. In 1828, Ebenezer Brigham made Blue Mounds, Wisconsin his home. This made him the first permanent settler in southern Wisconsin. Ebenezer came to the state from Massachusetts to join Wisconsin's lead run in the late 1820s. When Ebenezer set up a lead mine, he also built his own home, which became a trading post, stagecoach stop, and eventually Dane County's first post office. Ebenezer lived a long life on this Brigham farm, never realizing that a greater discovery than lead lay just beneath his feet. It was during a routine quarry blast on August 4th, 1939, the Cave of the Mounds was accidentally discovered. You see, workers who were removing limestone from the quarry on the Brigham farm that day had no idea that they were blasting right above this huge underground cavern. When the dust settled, the workers stared in amazement at the opening to this huge cavern that had been hidden for so long. We were not allowed in right at first because of the rubble, although we were allowed to come and just peek over all of the rubble. But eventually, when as they started pulling the, the rubble out, we could get in further and further. Word spread quickly about this amazing discovery. Geologists advised the Brighams to seal the entrance until preparations could be made to protect this geologic treasure. To find something that you didn't know was here before is really quite astonishing. We haven't had that kind of experience in Wisconsin very much. New discoveries are really unusual. In May of 1940, Cave of the Mounds opened to the public. Since then, millions of people have seen the wonder that you will see today. We knew that it was something that people would want to come and see and that it should be developed. When it comes to natural phenomena, I can't think of another thing that has been discovered in Wisconsin since 1939 begins to have this impact. By now, you might be wondering how a cave forms. Well, to learn that, we have to take another trip back in time but instead of human time, we need to go back in geologic time. Why? Because cave formation takes time, lots and lots of time, and H2O. Yep, water. If you went back in time 500 million years, you would be floating in a warm, shallow sea that covered most of North America. That sea was teeming with life. For example, the giant cephalopod is the distant ancestor of today's squid. These creatures carried massive shells that were either straight or coiled. Cephalopods ruled the shallow waters, prowling for smaller animals like the trilobite. Trilobites made their home scuttling across the sandy bottom. This giant arthropod, or bug, is Wisconsin's state fossil. These and a host of other creatures inhabited this ancient coral reef. Over time, the discarded shells of millions of these sea creatures built up layers and layers of limestone. That limestone is made up of the fossil remains of all those ancient sea creatures. If you look closely on your cave tour today, you might even see our giant cephalopod fossil. It's more than six feet long. So that's how the limestone rock formed. But how did this large hole form in the rock? Well, the simple explanation is this. Rainwater, or melting snow, combined with carbon dioxide to make an acid that trickled down through cracks in the limestone, creating small cavities. 
because of lead and other mineral deposits deep underground, powerful sulfuric acid formed. This acid bubbled up through the rock, enlarging the cavities further. Next, underground streams entered, washing away sediments until finally a large cavern formed. Today, you will see the geologic process continue. Year after year, day after day, water drips into the cave, bringing with it dissolved crystals of limestone called calcite. As these tiny particles fuse together, they form intricate and varied shapes. These are speleothems, slender, hollow stalactites hang from the ceiling while sturdy looking stalagmites form statues on the floor. Speleothems come in many shapes and colors. It can take a long time, more than 100 years, for a single formation to grow one inch. Cave of the Mounds is one of Wisconsin's most unique experiences. The cave is considered one of the most beautiful caves in the upper Midwest and is commonly referred to as the jewel box of America's major caves for its variety and delicacy of formations. If you were to describe an environment like what you have down here in this cave, you know, you don't realize that when you're in here, how, how weird it is. And that the natural environment down here is total darkness, you know, and that the, and that the geology, you've got, there's so much you can learn, you know, not just about the cave itself, but about how Wisconsin has changed over time. A tour of Cave of the Mounds is one of Wisconsin's most unique and authentic experiences. In fact, the United States Department of the Interior and the National Park Service have distinguished Cave of the Mounds as a national natural landmark because it is a treasure. It makes me realize that the, the world is filled with amazing things. And many of those things are closer than you think. And that you might just, you know, there can be amazing things just around the corner, 100 feet away, 100 feet below ground. You know, there are all sorts of surprises out there. And you never know where, you know, you, as is the, the, the nature of surprises, you're not sure where they're at or where they come up, but they're out there. And this cave is one of them. It's really neat that we have a, a cave like Cave of the Mountains here in Wisconsin, where it's a place close by where we can go and see the wonder that the natural world can provide for us people ooh and ah when they come into the cave. You know, they're looking around, especially right when they walk in, they immediately know there's someplace special. They're, 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 they're panning, looking back and forth, trying to take it all in. This is a great place. I mean, if we could bring our kids here every year, they would just love it. It's just a great opportunity to bring them outdoors and they can actually see what they've been learning in the classroom. They learn about how caves are formed and something that a lot of them don't get a chance to experience inside the classroom, so it's a really good chance for them to get out and experience science in the real world. It's like an outdoor classroom. The Cave of the Mounds offers so much more than just a cave tour. Fill your pockets with treasure at the Quarry's Edge Gemstone Mine and Fossil Dig. Kids and adults will discover their own collection of authentic rock, gem, mineral, and fossil specimens. The Cave of the Mounds Rock Shop offers a unique shopping experience. There is a large variety of treasures from Mother Nature including crystals, fossils, and artful objects, as well as souvenirs so you can take home a lasting memory of your trip. The park grounds are landscaped with acres of beautiful rock perennial gardens that have blooms for every season. There are also extensive prairie and savanna restoration areas that naturally attract dozens of varieties of birds, butterflies, and other wildlife. For the more adventurous, we offer an interpretive trail system that winds through our woodland, prairie, and karst natural areas. Whether you are planning a family vacation or reunion, a school field trip, club outing, or other special event, Cave of the Mounds offers you the unique ability to witness the beauty of southwest Wisconsin both above and below ground. When people leave here, I want them to remember that They've seen something really beautiful here in Wisconsin. Remember the caver's motto, take nothing but pictures, leave nothing but footprints, kill nothing but time. 
So whether you're a curious tourist or a budding cave enthusiast, today you're going to be learning firsthand why Cave of the Mounds is truly a living underground adventure with a surprise around every corner. Enjoy your tour.